welcome. As you saw from the title, this video is um, primarily about reassembling the SR Suntour CR880AL front suspension forks for a push bike, bicycle. Um, uh, these, I haven't shown the disassembly because quite frankly, I'm utterly embarrassed by it. Um, I got on this bike after it being outside over winter um, and inevitably uh, all I could hear from in here was just as if there were somebody was in there eating a packet of crisps. Um, and so I've had to completely strip the entire unit um, and de-rust um, and clean and hopefully salvage what I can. Um, to give you a, a rough idea, I um, might be able to pick up the pitting on, on this piece here, severe pitting in there because of the, the rust. It should more look more like, like this here, nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, it was incredibly rusty. So I thought I'd film, so I looked online um, and on the Suntour, when, where some tu, Suntour, Suntour uh, website uh, and could not find this set of forks at all. Um, could not find any information about um, its assembly, its uh, stripping apart, um, as well as actually getting replacement parts, which I, I really could do with, with getting. So um, I, I fought through uh, and managed to, to get it apart, um, and clean it all up, and so we're going to try and reassemble it with, um, quite frankly, shed loads of grease, um, because to be honest, there wasn't very much in there. Um, I thought manufacture of it was a little bit iffy, just to give you an, eye, an idea of, of, of this. So if I level up the, fork, the springs at the bottom, you can see there how... Uh, this one is longer than this one um, and if you'll know by my normal videos about motorbikes this is these are these are failed these are completely gone so anyway but that's what we've got so that's what we reassemble um, as I'd like to get out and ride at the moment we are in lockdown it's April 2020 um, and the UK and lots of worldwide are, are in lockdown so getting replacement parts going to be difficult I did email Suntour not had a reply but they, they may be on shutdown, so um, I must give them the benefit of the doubt on that. So um, let's let's crack on. So firstly, let's just look at uh, assembly, uh, dry assembly. So at the very bottom of the forks, there are there are these bits here. I'll do a, a pan across the entire layout as I've got it here. Um, we've got these lower sections, and these go in the very bottom of the of the forks, the outer forks, um, in a particular orientation. Um, these sit inside these inner shafts, um, which have a series of rubber bushings, um, and these go inside the, the cylinders um, in here, um, and then through into there, and then it's then this part here that then has um, a nut, a bolt, uh, that goes through, through there and out there. Um, so that's inside that part there. We then have the outer springs right over here at the far side. These have a bottom unit, an inner rubber, a top unit, and that's the springs assembled. And then on the actual forks themselves, there are these sleeves. Now, when I removed um, these sleeves, I didn't realize there was a clip on the inside, and you probably make out the hole in that one just there so i'm really hopeful that this clip lack of clip won't cause a problem with this pulling out um, and these go inside here orientating the clip towards the towards the back a little recess in there and these slip in and clip into that but to get and the primary thing for taking these apart is you've got to take these out first. I mean, these are the little uh, self-adjustment or pretension preloaders. Um, and you need a special tool to, to grip onto these ends uh, on here. don't know how well that will show. There they are. I ended up having to make my own tool out of a bit of plastic, put some um, uh, 
uh, crenellations in the top so that grips into there for then doing it up and undoing it. Um, so those are the preloaders, springs, inner sleeves. We then got the pistons and cylinders, whatever the proper lower forks and upper forks. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, oh, where I was going with that, was that once you've got this bit off, out come the springs. Um, and then you've got the issue of how to remove the upper forks from the lower forks. Uh, I ended up having to, and thankfully, um, I found a tool supplier that was still um, in business mail order. You've got to get one of these. Um, and it is a stupidly long, longest Allen key I've ever seen. Um, this one is um, 12 inches, 30 centimeters, um, and you need all of it um, to, to get down there. So with these parts in the upper forks, the Allen or the, the bolt goes down and you've got to put this all the way down the upper forks and all the way down to the bottom into there um, to be able to then do it up and undo it. Um, I had the joy of one bolt came out perfectly like they do um, and the other one was an absolute nightmare. The top head was just full of grunge and the Allen key couldn't sit in it properly. Um, so I had a nightmare getting out the second one. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to lube all this up um, and really just just assemble it um, uh, hopefully that will show you how it goes back together and obviously the reverse for for taking it apart um, and um, yeah we'll go from there so I think I'll shut up cue the music and we'll crack on with assembling this Assembly, I'm going to start with the with the lower forks first because we've got to get these sleeves in um, and these lower bushings. Now <clears throat> you won't be able to see, but down in there, um, it's a straight uh, cylindrical shape until you get down here. At which point, one side, which I think is the inside face of it. Oh, you might be able to. If you see the inside face there, there's that piece that comes in from camera right, meaning that the bottom isn't actually cylindrical, isn't actually round. Hence why on this piece, there is in fact half the cylinders, the circles missing. So we've got to get this in the correct way, which is with this little lug here. Maybe shouldn't have worn. Uh, black gloves for this. Let's get some white. There we go. So that little lug, camera right, just here, needs to go facing the inside of the forks. So it needs to go in in that way um, with the lug inward. So um, see um, so for lubing this bottom so this is plastic so <clears throat> not quite sure what all the proper grease lubrications to use are but I've got some really old um, silicon grease here um, from my dad's stash bless him um, and so we'll I hate silicon grease. It's one of those greases that you, you know you can't wipe it up easily like other greases. It just sort of gets everywhere.
And then for these sleeves parts here, I'm not going to lube the outside because I want them to be quite tight in there, but I am going to whack some lube on the inside. Lower forks done. Right. Upper forks. So for the upper forks, I need to make sure I get all the parts in the right order. So So before I forget, we've got the rubbers to go on, the seals, etc. And again, for this, I'm going to use a little bit of. I also, as a side note, get the white in again. There are these holes on the side of the outer boot that sit above the, the top seal. I'm assuming they're there for drainage, to let the water out. Um, but as I discovered with um, both boots, in fact, um, they hadn't cleared the holes properly. So in fact, um, on both of them, both holes were, were for the majority of these, were, were as in blocks because of rubber um, from the molding process. So I've taken a, a hole punch and opened those holes up ever so slightly. And I do mean basically to the size they should be. So there's those. And <clears throat> these inner sleeves have got um, a plastic um, boot and you should be able to make out, hopefully, there is a fat side and a thin side. The thin side goes uh, up against this sleeve here, leaving you the fat face that will then go against the rubber um, boot that goes on like so. Rubber boot on. Seal. Now these only go in one way. I'll show you. There you go. So it won't go in that way because that will bang against the division that way. So, um, actually just a little drain wave there. I want to get some Grease down that inner shaft. So. Probably adding the grease. And then hopefully that rubber 
bit there will then take that grease all the way down to the bottom. that end. Now oh, that one comes that end. That all then slides in there and I'm going to whack a bit more. No, because I've done silicon on that, so I'm going to put a little bit on these. Now this is where I change my gloves, but we've got limited supply. Now the job is to get the screw down the bottom of that. And on the screws I'm going to add some Copper into the head, try and stop that rusting out so much. Okay, that's finger tight as well. So these were fairly tight when I came to undo them. I'm just going to try and do them up to sort of finger hand tightness. But you can see how you need the, the full length um, of the, the Allen key. Now we're going right down to there. Right. Okay, there's that part done. So now we should be able to open that up and seat the seals properly. Now, that sounds a lot better than it did. I can assure you of that. No more crisp munching back down there. So you've got two types of spring tops. You've got a larger diameter one and a smaller diameter one. There you go. Larger diameter one at the bottom. That engages with the tube that we've inserted, smaller one at the top 
that engages with the hole that's in there, like so. And the preloader. Preloaders I've already lubricated up with silicon. Um, so for bottom top, so springs. If I remember rightly when I took these out, there was like a dab of grease at one end and that was about it really. So I'm gonna try and be quite liberal with the greasing. also have more uh, closer together white springs and in that one closer together further apart top bottom okay so all greased up. Give the top a clean. Make sure the forks are completely extended, which makes it easier then to holding the upper fork to thread that in making sure these are fully retracted as well reassembled SR sun jaw CR880. So do give this uh, a thumbs up if you found it in any way useful or even entertaining. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. I hope you never have the issues I had with mine. Um, look after your bikes and don't leave them out in the winter. Um, and um, yeah, do take care. So yeah, for further um, oddball uh, videos uh, on mainly motorbikes, um, but the odd one here and there on other things, um, do subscribe uh, down below. Do hit the bell notification for further uploads and I really appreciate those thumbs up. Um, do leave your comments and I'll do my best to answer. But there you go, that's the SR Sunshore CR880 AL front forks for a push bike reassembled. Bye.